Hi guys, it's Kay. Um, today I am going to be making a video. I haven't made a video in a little while. But, um, there's people asking how I know puddles so well. And I'm going to tell you a story. And I'm driving, yes. But anyway, so, I think it was around late 2018 or so. I was in Albany, New York. You know, I think I was up there visiting my grandma. And then I stopped in Albany for a coffee. And, you know, I walked in to the thing. The place was packed. And I found a corner booth and I sat in it or whatever. And then, you know, I hear the door go off. And I look up and there's a seven foot clown walking into the cafe. And I'm like, what is going on? You know, and if that wasn't strange enough, in behind him comes Bigfoot. And like, I'm not talking like a guy in a Bigfoot costume. I'm talking about the 100% real, authentic, cryptozoological creature, Bigfoot. And I'm like, what is this? So, you know, they, they stand in line or whatever. I'm just watching them. I think I had a cold brew with a blueberry muffin. And then Bigfoot walks over to me, decides he wants my blueberry muffin, steals it right off my plate. And I'm like, excuse me, what are you doing? Puddles, I didn't know his name at the time. But Puddles walks over and he pretty much, you know, gives Bigfoot the eye like what are you doing? And he apologized for his friend's behavior and he offered to buy me another blueberry muffin. I'm like, okay. So Puddles ordered his stuff with Bigfoot. Another blueberry muffin and Puddles paid for it with a bag of nickels. And the barista was kind of laughing at him. So, but you know, since the place was packed, there was no seats. And since, you know, this giant clown decided to replace my blueberry muffin, I offered to have him sit with me. So I was stuck in a corner booth between a seven foot clown and Bigfoot who smelled like swamp. So, and you know, it took a little bit for him to explain who he was and why he was in New York at the time and come to find out that he was doing a show later that night at the Egg which is a venue up there and I didn't have much plan so I decided I'm like well whatever I'll show up so I showed up later that night and it was an amazing show one of the best shows I've ever seen in my life I'm not kidding and then that is the story of how I met Puddles. And, you know, it's, it's been a crazy ride for me for the past couple years. Uh, following this guy online, you know, helping him out with all of his promotional stuff. And, you know, it's just been a lot of fun. So, anyway, that's the story of how I met Puddles. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I guess I'll chat later. Bye.